this is Cinema. And this is Johannes. And you are watching Board Gaming Rumblings. And it's a new year. Yes. It's the year 2022, which means we're just done with one year with many great games. We still have a few we haven't played that we are looking too forward to play. Yes. But why look to the past? We also do that quite a bit. But let's look to the future. Yes. So this video is all about games that we are looking forward to play hopefully in 2022. And we're always about the, the new stuff. Yes, um, like I love our channel because of that, because we do, uh, I can say that, I love our channel because yeah. we do a lot of games, a lot of videos about new games, but we also do keyboard call and stuff about older games. So I think it's like a really good mix of those because I love playing all the hotness, but when yes. I am a board game YouTube creator, then I'm also in that feeling of never getting to play all my old favorites, but we do that for keyboard calls. So if you we're somehow happy. are seeing this and you have not seen our your keep our color video series, check that out. And also yes. if you are new to the channel, you can actually subscribe to it. How do you do that? You click the subscribe button. It's right under there. Yes, and it you makes us very it. happy. It's free and all of that shebang. So yes, there was actually quite a few more than 10 games uh, that could have made this list. Yeah, because you are the researcher yes. of, of these things. You are like looking forward to the things that going to out. I'm just like, you you pick great games because we have very similar tasting games. That is true. Yeah. Actually, last year you the first time you spend any time like you helping out with the the Essen preparation, yes, which was really true. nice. That was really nice. So we might do that again this year with some of these. But I made this list. You approved it. I approved it. So I'm just gonna no read objections. read off the. 11 to 15, just because I want to note that they are here. Yes. So uh, 16, no, 17 actually. 18, I'm going to do. I'm going to do 18 to 11 just really quickly because just it's like just, casually and, yes. eight honorable mentions. But the thing is, like, it might not be much more info about the top 10 because there's many of these games that there's not that much info we know. There's many that we know. There's many that I haven't looked that much into. It just looks really nice because yeah. I am really shallow when it comes to these things and I just want to play games. So 18 is Aeon Trespass Odyssey, a huge a miniature kind of campaign game that I got FOMO and I backed it on GameFound. It's, it's, nothing, it's nothing to do with Aeon's End, this one. No, 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 no. no. It's, it's another it's game. It's a Greek mythology a kind of game where you fight oh, huge boss monsters. I remember you backed this. Yes. yes, I was like, sorry, I backed another campaign game because I got FOMO. It's open a bit more if you are interested in checking that out. If you also out. have FOMO, Dice. you can go back in now. Next up then is Dice Realms from Tom Lehman. This is one you haven't heard about. No. It is a not a deck builder, not a pool builder, it's a dice builder. Okay. So you take off parts of dice and you upgrade dice Ooh, like and you dice make them. like Dice Forge or yes, something. Yes, kind of like that. Then we have Darwin's Journey. We already played this. Really yes. nice game. Looking forward to playing the production copy. Yes. Carnegie was one we did not get to be able to preview. One that looks really nice. A uh, medium Everybody's talking about it. Euro game. Uh, they were talking about it during the Kickstarter. Yes. Yes. And people are saying Carnegie is, is a game. Yes. That makes me want to play it. <laughs> you just want to play games. Yes. Then we have Free Radicals. This is another uh, uh, async. What's it called again? It's another uh, asymmetrical game. So async, just I didn't say the whole thing. Uh, that looks really nice. Wormholes from Peter McPherson, who made Tiny Towns, which is a game yeah. we really like. Yes. Marrakesh is the new Fell, and Always then Rolling Heights felt. is the new game from James Declare. No, cool. not James, John Declare. John Sorry, Declare. John Declare Sorry. makes more sense. Sorry. So into the top 10, do you want to begin with number 10? Yes, I can do it. Number 10! It's a hard word. It's Resurgence. That sounds that correct. Correctly. Um, I don't know anything about this game. It is a kind of medium-ish Euro game from Stanislav Koronsky, uh, his new company. He made games for many different companies. He is the designer, for example, for Rurik Don of Kiev. Oh, I like that He's game. He's one of the designers of cool. the upcoming Endless Winter. He made uh, Lock Up, which is a game we really like. Yes. The, the, and looking forward to the... the uh, you wanted to call it, but we couldn't because we were waiting we for were an expansion. We were waiting for an expansion. So this is his first kind of game in it with his own company. I don't know why he chose to do that, but probably for more like artistic freedom and just be able to do the things he wanted to. Cool. It looks like a it's like a um, post-apocalypse game in Russia where you are one of the heroes for a gang and you're trying, I don't know if it's a gang, but like a group of people and you try to get the victory points and food so you don't die. But it's a Euro game? Yes, it's yeah, a Euro okay, game, cool. absolutely. Nice. So next up then, number nine is My City Roll and Write. We loved My City. 
and like, we I love tolerate Lois wrong rights. Yes. We what like a them. Yes. match made in heaven. Like everything with my city on it, I'm going to buy like a mug my with my city. Mug set. <laughs> so well, what about the my, my city? My city car. My <laughs> Final oh. Sir from Brady Knutsia. Yeah. My City Car. I'm gonna buy it now. The my City Tesla is here. <laughs> and also you have the My City uh, video game. Yes. You probably buy that. That was like, yes. a really bad that joke. Really... Like, oh no, that's a very strange thing. Well, so I'm looking forward to like yes. because my city is a campaign game. Uh -huh. I'm not going to play my city after we're done with the campaign, which we still are not. <laughs> like many five percent. I'd like to remind you. And then the last player moved. Yes. But that was hot, hot one year off. I'm crying. Credit. Well, um, so obviously every night you're crying yourself yes. to sleep because of that. <laughs> so obviously I'm going to want to have more ways to play this amazing mm -hmm. game. Looking and if we can to. roll things and write them down, we will do that. Perfect. Next up, it's your turn to say number eight. Which is Autobahn. Yes. Autobahn. It's a new game by Fabio Lopiano. Uh -huh. um, um, it, it's about the German roads. Q. You ending up like getting all the games you don't know anything <laughs> yes. about. So, uh, yes, this uh, I don't know too much about the game design. He did like a I'm, short I'm pitch. I'm literally getting all the games that I don't we know anything about. We can change it up. Yes, uh, thank you. <laughs> he gave us a short pitch in, in Essen. It sounded really interesting. Uh, with many ways, I, I just like remembering, like we saw like the crude prototype and there's many things, like it looks like a heavier Euro game and we have enjoyed especially Merv from him, which oh, was a yeah. fabulous game. Really nice. So I'm looking forward to play Autobahn. So, Cinema, let's do, you do the next one. Yes. Number seven. Number seven is Wayfarer. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Wayfarers of the South Tigris. This is another one uh, in this... Um, it's the start of a new trilogy. Yeah, it's the start of a new trilogy. So they've done this um, Raiders thingy. Yeah. And they <laughs> have done... You come to Board Gaming Ramblings for the most accurate information of board games ever yes. depicted on and YouTube. Then they have done the West Kingdom. So now they're doing the South Tigris. Um, yes. They have announced the other names yes. too, I, I think. Yes, I don't remember them. No, me neither. But, but I'm looking forward to them. Mm -hmm. It's going to be cool. Hopefully. Like these, have, these games uh, we have not played... Uh, the uh, we played. I have played Raiders. You have not. But you played yep. Raiders of Scythia, which yes. is kind of the same game. Uh, we played Seafarers of the North Sea, which was a horrible, mm. boring game. Mm. Then we have not played the last one, which I think like is uh, Explorers of the mm, or like yeah. Shipwrights of the North Ship Sea Rides. is the one we played, which was horrible, and it's like Explorers of the North Sea, okay. which we have not played. Yeah. And then of the three new ones, we really like Ar Architects. We yes. thought that Paladins was good, yeah. and why counts. Did not like too much. Uh, you liked it in the beginning, but, but I did not like that too much yes. at all. So hopefully this will be like more of a, but people seem to like it. One thing I hope that will be better is the rule books. So if you somehow you're listening to this, um, please have explanations for symbols so you don't have to guess what they please, are. Please, please, please. Next up, then we... Based on the box sizes. Yes, very good. Hopefully they are amazing games. We're going to back them and get them of and course. play them. Yeah. Next up, we have number six, which is Perseverance, number one and number two from Mind Clash. Mind Clash is a publisher that makes beautiful games, that makes thematic Euro games that usually make games that we really enjoy. Like they're, they're, my favorite game of theirs has to be so far to carry on. We're playing an Akronia actually pretty soon again. Hopefully I'm looking forward to play that again. Yes. Hopefully I'm looking forward to play that again. Hopefully it's good. Then we have Cerebria which we need to play more <laughs> uh, because you had a horrible experience playing with me in that one because I'm it's a team game and it's kind of hard. Um, but they make, even though like all their games aren't the best games I've ever played. They are very good at matching theme and mechanisms and mm. making thematic Euro games in a very nice way. But what so, did you mean, like one and two? What there's is that? There's two games, basically. Oh. So you, when we get the box, it's going to be, there's two games about, it's called like Chronicles or something like that. And you play, and, and there's they're both um, standalone games. Okay. But I think you can play some kind of like campaign-ish thing. Cool. So then there's going to be chapter three and four also going to come out. So it's like four dinosaur games that you can play. Cool. So that is number six. Number five is... 
Number five. I thought I was uh, almost going to say. Number five. I was almost going to say my number five, but it's not that. Th it's today. ours, it's like a, a joint thing. It's a seven citadel. Uh -huh. We have not played through the whole. Uh, all of the things that we have for Seven Continent. How so many we of, thought... Let me know, Sino. How many of the curses for Seven Continent have we won? And zero. How many have we tried? We have tried for real. We have started... That's too true. Yes. We have played true one. Yes. We have lost. A couple and of we times. Ha yes. The longest one. And we need to get through it because that's yes. kind of like the exploration phase. So cool. And the other get. one we started, like, played one hour and we stopped. One and a half years ago. Yes. Two years ago, actually, more than two oh years ago gosh. now because it's been. It two was before. It was when we had to live with my parents because yes. our uh, apartment was being sold. So yes, we need to play that again. So of course we need more of this stuff because we <laughs> obviously can't get enough of it. And the problem is, if Seven Citadel, as it sounds, is way better. Mm. We're never gonna play Seven Continent. No, but I'm that I'm fine with that. Yeah, but if the thing is, like... I think that Seven Con no Seven Citadel has less of the uh, survival things. Oh, I like that because that was so hard. <laughs> it's so like annoying when mm -hmm. you think you got stuff and then you die because oh. you met a bear. Yes. Yes. That is the, the, <laughs> the example. That's reality. Yeah, it's that's... so hard. Oh, I'm trying to find some. B berries! Oh no, it's a berry! And it kills you. Uh, but yeah, it has this kind of, it looks like it has a very interesting dialogue system that I'm really looking forward Ooh. to, like a way you can speak to people. Uh, never tried that before in my life, so that sounds like something I'm really looking forward to. So that is Seven Sizzle. Yes. Next up we have number four, which is Endless Winter by many designers, uh, including Stanislav Koronsky. Uh, it is a Euro game, medium style Euro game, burger placement, uh, what? <laughs> I thought you said burger placement. Burger placement. One of the, the new <laughs> mechanisms in this game is that you have burgers. I love so that. You, you have to include your own burgers. You go to McDonald's, Burger King, and you, have this and you buy burger some burgers. Burger placement spots? Yes. It's like a big spot, and there's only space for one burger in each of them. So no Big Macs. There so, uh, yeah, it, it looks like a fantastic game. Uh, of course, we went all in for the Kickstarter, so we have like a. We? I went all in for the yes, Kickstarter with your you. money. Uh, <laughs> But it's gonna be, it looks like it's a very good game. Most of the people I talked to, we sadly did not get to do a preview for it. We were supposed to, but things happen, which they do. Uh, but it was one that I was looking forward to play, and I'm looking even more forward to play it because I heard it's really good. Nice. Then there's only three more, which is number three. Yay, and it's ISS Vanguard. Mm -hmm. uh, we, <laughs> oh my god, uh, because this is another story driven. Uh, co-op game, isn't it? Yes. Yes, and we have uh, played through either fields and and um, the other one, the Grand, the Grand. which is from the same company. Yes, Awaken that's Realms. why I'm mentioning them because we have, we have played all of it. Of for course. Tainted Grail, we have three campaigns. We have played half of the first one, and we probably need to start over again because I don't remember anything. No. And oh my god. Then Ether Fields, we also played like 10 scenarios or something and we probably need to start over again. Hopefully we get hopefully we, we get to continue because it, was a, so. it would not be so fun to play it again. No. And we had uh, two campaigns I think in that box and throughout this year we're gonna get four more campaigns uh, for that game. It's... So we need to do like some marathons. Do like We need to do like a Brothers Murph thing oh, to yeah. play through the whole of Ether Fields in one weekend, something like that. Mm and stream it. If you want to see something like that, let us know and we might do it. Might get to get these so, yeah. boxes played. So yeah, ISS Vanguard. Yes, uh, it's... Um, the, 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 I told you all I know. That it's a campaign game. Yes. <laughs> do you, could you guess kind of like what kind of... It's uh, on a spaceship, I guess. Yeah, you're and getting there. I have read the comic that we got. Yes. I don't know what... that. It was nice. It had good artwork and it was about the spaceship. This, this video space. is not basically for you to get much information about this game, so it's more like snippets, like, oh, that sounds nice. Yes. And you can check it out more because. Snippets, like, it's in space. <laughs> yeah, space. So if you're like, I love space games, then you have <laughs> yeah, to check it out. Then you have to uh, check out ISS One. Also, check out Lost Light from Roy, Roy, Roy Kennedy. I was looking forward to see, see more about that game. Um, yes, that's the plug. Uh, but uh, Isis Vanguard looks really nice. It has some interesting things with some folders and lots of expansions and all of the different campaigns. 
And we're back in it for the folders. Yes, That's what we're like, into. Oh, I've been looking forward to get some folders. To have I don't care in. about the game. Just get the folders. So I'm looking forward to play that to see uh, the next development of the Awakened Realms because they have some very interesting ideas. I'm looking forward to see more of that. Cool. Next up, we have number two, which is Weather Machine. Another one we sadly did not be able to preview. Like, we love this game. Send them to us so we can yes. play them. Because if there's one type of game we want to play, it's the big yeah. Blood Soda games. Yes. Because Brittle Soda is one of our favorite designers who makes amazing games. And Weather Machine looks like a, a super quirky theme with you having to make the weather the things you need it to be. Like, the world is going under, I think, and you need to try to make the weather better so that you will live make in... Make America great again. Yes. Huh. Or just the world. And or it's just a... the weather. Weather better in the feather. It's my new poem. Poem book called Poems from Board Games. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot sort of game. There's no, there doesn't really need to be another reason for it to be this high on I am not so artwork. It's yes. just like, it looks amazing. I can't wait to play it. And number one is pretty obvious. I mean, number one is pretty hmm, obvious if be? you know us at all. Was this our um, most anticipated for last year as well? Might have been, probably. I don't. Yeah. I, I think maybe we forgot to make this video last oh, year. Oh, maybe we then did. It was like February, I was like, oh, it's too late. And we didn't do yeah. it. Uh, Frosthaven. Yes. Uh, we love Gloomhaven. Mm -hmm. We want more of it. Frosthaven looks like Gloomhaven 2.0. It, it, the one scenario that we played with Paul Grogan mm -hmm. uh, like a long, long time yeah, ago. Seems like way long ago. Seems though. like forever ago. It was really innovative and mm -hmm. fun. I, the characters looked awesome. I like. It, I just want to play it. Yes. Looks super duper cool. Uh, e yeah, basically everything you said. It seems like it's going to be... Gloomhaven just better. We have played Gloomhaven over a hundred times. We played through the whole campaign. Um, we might not get time for that with Frosthaven if we don't do some kind of crazy thing to play it through in a weekend or something like that. Mm. Or a week. Uh, it's just... Or if like another pandemic happens. Mm, yes, that's true. Then we don't have anything else to do because that's how we played it last time. We played <laughs> through it like when it came out and we played a lot then in the pandemic uh, in the beginning of last year. Mm. So yeah, everything is said. Like the, the one scenario we played seemed like it's going to be Gloomhaven just making the things that could have been better in Gloomhaven better yeah. and um, hopefully making it into like a perfect game because that's yes. what I want. Cool. So it's just worth all the waiting and uh, those are like 10. All the space. Those are like 10 or 18 anticipated money. games. Yes. For 2022, even though uh, we didn't know too much about them. We hope you enjoyed it. Yes. Uh, if this is your first time watching the channel, you'll probably think like, oh, these guys are stupid. We usually know more about games that we talk about. And if you have been to our channel, you got exactly what you knew you were going to get. Yes. So, uh, yes, if you are here for the first time and you haven't subscribed, you can do so now by clicking the subscribe button. It's fun and it's free and it makes us happy like this. If you want to do something that's not free, you can go to patreon.com slash ramblings and support us there. Yes. And that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Senova. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye bye.